Hi, this is Champlet2 with an overview about how to manage the games in your arcade. I won't be reviewing any of the actual games in this video. I'm just going to be honest with you, I'm really not very good at playing several of these. And nobody wants to watch that, right? I'm just going to focus on showing you how to purchase and organize all of the games in your arcade, along with some tips about the money you can earn from them. So let's get started. When you purchase an arcade game from Pixel Emporium, it'll take a few minutes to be delivered. I learned the hard way, after waiting like 20 minutes for one to show up, that they don't deliver them if you're inside the arcade. You'll have to exit the building so the delivery can take place. I'm not 100% sure that the same holds true for the arcade basement, but I think it does. You'll get a notice like this on your screen and a text from Wendy when your order has been delivered. Let's take a look at how to place your arcade games. You do not have to be registered as a CEO or an MC president to manage your arcade games. Just take a seat at the Pixel Emporium computer in your arcade office. At the upper left, select the option to manage arcade games. Down at the bottom right, It'll show you which buttons or keys to use to scroll through the 35 slots and select the one you want. On the upper left, you'll see which slot number you currently have selected. See here, I'm in slot number 2 of 35. There's several different kinds of slots in your arcade, and it's a little bit tricky to figure out how they all work. The short version is, when you select a slot, the list at the upper left will show you which games that you own that will fit there. Notice how the list of games changes as I move from one slot to the next. If a game you own is not in that list, you can't place it there because it won't fit in the space allowed for that slot. You just have to look around at the different slots and start to understand what games will fit in them. The good news is, you don't have to pay anything to move your games around, so you can experiment all you want until you figure out where you want to put all of your games. There are some cabinets, like these, that only require a small single slot, and you can put them in any of the 35 slots that you want. Now a few of the games require two slots in the arcade, like this one, and some of them, like the race and chase games, are much deeper and require more floor space, as you're seeing here. So there's only a few places in the arcade that can accommodate these games. Now see how the race and chase ones aren't in my list anymore for this slot? Because there's not enough floor space to put them here. However, Street Crimes Gang Wars Edition requires four slots, and that one can be put in this spot. Some of the novelty games like these will fit in a single slot if there's enough free space around it, like here in slots 1 and 2 and 3. Or they might require two slots in some other areas, like here in slots 31 and 32, where those two are really close together, there's not a lot of space. But yet the novelty Madame Nazar is smaller and it'll fit in any single slot. So as you can see, once you own a game, you can place it multiple times in your arcade. Except for these few novelty games that can only exist in your arcade one at a time. See for example how I can only move Axe of Fury. I can't place a second one. If you decide you don't want one of the arcade games in the arcade anymore, you can't sell it back to Pixel Emporium. Once you buy it, you own it, and that's it. However, you can essentially remove it by going to that game's slot and choosing none to go in its place, like this. You still own it, but it's not taking up space in your arcade, and that game, as well as this empty slot, are no longer earning you any money. To earn the most money, don't leave your slots empty, put something else in there. If you have games filling every one of the 35 slots, you'll earn a maximum of $5,000 per GTA game day or 48 minutes in real life in your arcade safe. 
doesn't matter which games they are, as long as all 35 slots are full, you'll just get the $5,000 per GTA day. So here's a really big tip. If you don't have a lot of money to purchase a bunch of expensive arcade games, just buy the cheapest one. Monkey's Paradise. It's only $90,000 regular price. Then you can place the free Street Crimes Gang Wars Edition that takes up four slots in the four available areas that will hold this four slot game, like I've done here. That'll fill up 16 of your 35 slots. Next, fill the other 19 slots with multiple Monkey's Paradise games, and it'll look like this. You'll still earn $5,000 per GTA day, even though you only have two different games filling up all 35 of your slots, and you only had to spend $90,000 to do it. Your safe gets full at just $50,000, so if you have several arcade games, that'll fill up really quickly. You'll get pop-up notifications each day about the balance in your safe. So keep an eye on those and empty the safe often, because once it gets full, you won't get paid by your arcade patrons anymore until you empty it. Now there's also a trophy case on the platform that'll fill up with a variety of trophies. This golden arcade game comes from purchasing every available arcade game from Pixel Emporium. Others are earned when you accomplish certain feats in different games. There's a link below in this video's description to a really nice Reddit page with an arcade trophy case guide, and it looks pretty informative. Thanks so much for watching. A like for the video and a subscription to my channel are always greatly appreciated. Join me on Discord for sneak previews of videos and GTA discussions with lots of other players. And I want to give a huge thanks to my Discord friends who pitched in some really helpful suggestions for this video. The link to my Discord channel is in the video description below, so drop by and say hello. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.